everyone. I am Adam with the uh, Detroit Public Library. I am here to give a I am here to give a brief tutorial on how to access ABC Mouse using the library website. Um, it's actually quite simple. Um, you can use it on your tablet, your computer, um, your phone. I'm doing this as a video on how to do it on your iPad. Um, so what we will do is this. Um, I'm going to assume that you already have the app. And if you don't, you can get that at the App Store. You just search ABC Mouse in the App Store and then you download it. The app is free. But we're not going to touch the app just yet. We are going to go first to Safari because you have to go through the library website in order to get here. So what you do, go to Safari or whatever your browser of choice is. It could be Chrome, could be Explorer, could be Firefox. Um, whatever you use on your phone or your tablet, whatever, that's fine. So we're going to do that. And I've already loaded up uh, the TroyPublicLibrary.org. Um, as you can see, the website is up there. You're going to want to go over here to KidZone. Um, KidZone is where ABC Mouse is. Now, if you don't have a library card yet, you can go online and sign up for a temporary digital card. Um, I'm assuming that you've already gotten a library card, so I'm not going to walk you through that. But you can do that uh, just by going online, and it'll take maybe an hour or so for it to process and get sent to you. But right now, we are going to KidZone. All right. Let's just make sure that that didn't go up. Um... ABC Mouse is over here. If you click on this, it'll take you down. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show because this banner changes, you know, what we have on there. So I can't guarantee ABC Mouse will always be on that spot. We just scroll on down and there you go. ABC Mouse Library Edition. Um, but uh, specifically, if you tap on that, it just takes you down there. So that showcases where that is. And you're going to click on Go Now. And this part is where you're going to be filling in your information. You need your library card number and your last name. And then you're going to be using an email. So what we do is you're going to go over here to where it says uh, select your state. In our case, it's Michigan. Select your library. In our case, Detroit Public Library. And then it's going to have you put in your library information. Now I'm going to pause here and um, I will see you all on the next screen after I put my stuff in. Okay, so in this area, you're going to be doing your email address, confirm your email, create your password, and confirm your password. Um, now, uh, I'm not going to bother showing you this because this and the next screen are just about that. The next screen that comes up will be a picture showcasing what um, email you have, what password you have. So um, I'm not going to be showing that because I using a dummy email and everything but just follow the steps on here and you should be able to create an um an uh, account so let's do that and uh, i will see you on the next page okay so here it is i made the password simple you can find this out it shows that you can make it work that easily um i wasn't going to show this page originally but i'm going to anyway um uh, just use an email address and um, password and get set up and you can print the password out so that you can always have it and then you just go down and you click continue down here and then you know just do this quick survey I did it uh, other library next there we go and here is where you get started now Now, what you want to do is, I recommend you watch this few, this video. I'm not going to do it on here because you're going to have it in front of you. You can watch it. You can pause my video and watch it. In fact, pause it now. Okay, good. You're back. All right. So you're going to click next. For me, I'm going to say skip for now. And this is where you get to create your adult account. The adult is the parent of the household. So in my case, I'm going to do dad... And we're going to go Jones. Perfect. Dad Jones, mail. Okay, so put all that in and then select an avatar. I'm just going to use this cute little puppy because I don't want to have the trouble of making a custom avatar. That you can do with the kids. So we click next. 
and let's make our first child. So I'm going to say I'm a parent of a little boy named Jimmy. And Jimmy was born in April of 2017, so he's five. Make him a boy. And this is an interesting thing. Um, over here it says relationship to the child, so if you tap on that, if you select anything other than father or mother, it's going to ask if you are the legal guardian. Um, saying, so let's take a look, uncle. If you say no, it makes you fill this form out. Um, this sends an email to the actual parents to take care of this and get their permission for the child to use this. We are making up this child whole cloth, so for the sake of this, they are. They are our kid. So this is my kid, little Jimmy. And we're going to let them randomly create the teacher. You get to choose how that looks. And because of this, because of this, the uh, teacher, because of this uh, age being 2017, we're going to say they are a kindergartner. So right there, check that off. And we go to next. And here is how you make your kid's avatar. Um, you get to choose eyes, skin tones, whatever, um, nose, whatever, like things like that. I'm going to just showcase uh, using this kid because kid kind of looks like I did when I was a kid. Uh, getting glasses, boom, done. That's kind of like what I looked like as a kid. So I assume if I had a kid, look kind of like that. But anyway, um, you have options and everything, so there's plenty to go through, and you can let the kids do this. And if the kids have a hard time reading, um, if you're on the computer or something like that, the um, buttons will, in fact, say what they are. Um, so that's fun. So we go to next. And we're going to make our um, pets. So we are going to do a seahorse because those are rule I'm gonna do this I'm gonna name that the ham so we selected the seahorse we selected the uh, hamster and we're gonna make ourselves named uh, hammy I guess so yeah these are all things the kids are gonna do um, parents you should follow along when you're doing this with the kids that way they can make sure they have somebody helping make in case something goes wrong but it's it's very unlikely that will happen so hammy is the there's a hamster we click next and there we go if you have more to do um, you can add more kids like uh, down here you can have up to three per account but since we don't have that we're just gonna go over here to confirm and voila you can take this assessment um, that's up to you I'm gonna skip it because it's They'll just extend this, and we don't need it, so I'm going to say no thanks. And voila, we are now logged in. Um, we have access to the materials and everything like that. Um, can go to the classroom and stuff like that, and everything is on there. But, okay, maybe you set this up on the computer and you want to use it on the app. So, that's where we're going to go. So we are going to go to the app up here, and I'm going to get everything set up. And then what you want to do is you're going to go to login, and that email that you set up, that's what you're going to do. I'm going to do that real quick, and then we will see you on the other side. All right, so now we are back into this on the app. You can see the app has a little bit of a different uh, setup. Um, all things that you need to do can be done up here if you need to adjust things. Um, to access all these, you need your password so the parents will be able to do it. But um, I'm going to tell you that this has sound and everything, and it talks. So if we do um, stuff like that, um, so if we do stuff like that, like let's go click on the learning path and it's going to start making noises for us and tell us where we are. Click on the next activity. See, it starts telling me what to do. I'm going to mute that because that's loud. Ow. Okay, 
So, um, as you can see, you have access to all these materials and stuff. The kids can play games, go back to their things. Um, there'll be different things based on um, what's going on. Like, we got the Mother's Day stuff, um, Great Wall of China, Move It. And these are all different based on how old the child is. So the more kids you have, the more different things will be. But this is all free. It's all accessible with your library card. And you can use it on your phone, your tablets, your computer, what have you, just so long as you have access to the internet somehow, even if it's through data and everything. But that's really all there is to it. So um, I hope you enjoy. I hope your kids enjoy. And... Um, Everybody, well, hope to see all the libraries open soon. Um, and uh, take if you can get um, if you can get if not, um, do what you can to uh, mitigate any risk.